hello everyone welcome back today uh, in this lecture we will be learning like what what is rest why do we need rest and what are different methods of rest like the basics of rest so to begin with so actually what is the full form of rest rest stands for representational state transfer application program interface actually you de you need not remember this okay so in simple language if we are explaining rest so what is rest rest is like like see every api has some set of rules right so when i am building an api right i need to keep certain rules in mind that how i will be writing an api how we will it will be interacting with within the server and the client so so all those rules like the set of rules which it, it is using are mainly http based so combining all those things like so if we talk more about rest so rest is just a set of rules for building services and interacting with other services okay and uh, second thing is it uses the standard http methods and principles to interact among client and server and other services so why rest is so popular these days like what is the reason there are other uh, services if you see in the market like uh, graphql which is used by facebook then we have soap soap is mainly like where more people are more concerned about security their soap is used then we have grpc from google so that is like also in trending these days but it is used like where uh, you know more efficiency is required so that's where it comes into picture so talking about rest rest is like a simple language simple http based protocol language and it's very easy to read it read and understand why why it's easy is like it uses the json formats xml formats http html formats and plain text to you know send in request and response and uh, also like a lot of support and material is available online for rest and uh, it has become a trend in the industry like see all the people are moving towards rest so you can also say that's also one of the reasons for its wide spread and performance wise also it's really good so overall it's really simple easy to use it uses very simple http methods and uh, request and response are easy to read and interact so all these are the reasons why rest is being used at a high level okay so if we talk about the different methods which are available in rest so these are the five most commonly used methods in rest if we come to the very first one so we will be studying in come in the coming lectures these methods in detail so the very first method which is get get is if you want to retrieve some data from a server okay so retrieve data suppose i have booked an airline ticket i need to you know uh, retrieve that data from the database of that particular airline so the type of method which is used at the back end by the service is the get get means i have that ticket id or i have some hotel booking id i want to retrieve some data i do not want to make any changes in the data i do not want to make a new response or new request or i do not want to you know uh, write a new record but i just want to retrieve some data that's it that is the get method then next is the post method when i am creating some new resource on the server or new resource on the database so post is like suppose i am booking a movie ticket okay so one new record will be placed in the database so or i am booking a flight right one new flight id will be generated okay so that's where post method comes into picture then we have put method suppose i have uh, an already my booking is done with the airline or with the hotel right i just want to update that thing i do not want to you know make a new record i do not want to just fetch it I, but i want to update suppose my name was incorrect i need to edit that name when i want to edit something there i will be using put method 
and then delete method delete is you completely want to remove the resource suppose i want to cancel my booking right so that is where i will be using delete method or i want to delete a comment right i want to delete some booking so that is delete method comes into picture the last one is patch it's very you know it's not that much widely used but uh, it's like you can say it it came in recently so it's a partially updating a resource now coming uh, like one more thing that i forgot to mention is like post and put post is the you can say the base method so instead of put sometimes you can also use the post method that we will discuss in detail in the coming lectures but just keep in mind that this is the uh, main method post and the put is you can say a child method that's like how you can learn it so we can use post instead of put but we cannot use put instead of post like this is the main method okay then like what are the trending tools that are you know people recently using in the market for testing rest apis the very first thing is postman so if you want to manually test an api like suppose for the rest right so postman is widely used it's really simple okay then next is curl curl is like you want to send a request and res get response on the command line so that's where curl in comes into picture then we have swagger swagger is mostly used by developers like for designing an api for then building the api and documenting everything right so swagger is like it's a complete documentation about the api you have created like how is the design of the api it's a web based application okay and it's like a developer has developed everything they need to document everything right so still they will be sh share like we can share a particular url for a particular api and we can even test uh, like perform you know easy tests on the api using swagger then we have requests library for python that we will be exploring further in this in the in the coming lectures and the last one is like which is also commonly used is java rest li uh, rest library so i think these uh, that's pretty much so we will be now going on to different api methods in the next lectures yeah thank you